right? This is a game I call Kingpin Handball. Um, it's not so much a handball game, but uh, another word of using a ball to throw. Um, I <clears throat> personally do not like to use the word dodgeball and things like that because in this game, the kids are not throwing the ball at one another, but they are throwing a ball at a target of some sort. Well, and in this case, it would be a um, bowling pin. So we'll put their we'll put our students in here, okay, for the game. We'll make some some different ones here for one side, okay. Let's make them a little bit smaller. Okay, so we got our students, one team here. This will be the white team for being the white stars. I'll move them all over here. Besides this guy. So this will be the white team side of the gym, okay. And then we'll put in the other team here. And then the object of this game is to knock the other team's bowling pins down. I've seen it several times from numerous uh, PE teachers and uh, from the internet and from different videos and things like that. So anyway, you got your two teams here, okay? Obviously the students are not, they cannot cross the half court line. Okay? They are not allowed to cross the half court line. Their job is to try and throw a ball and knock down the other team's bowling pins. So we'll put in some bowling pins here marked by these cones or these triangles. So this will be a bowling pin here. We'll resize that guy. I'll make some several ones here. And you can put as many bowling pins as you want on each end line. I tend to go 10 and 10 and things like that. So we'll put some here. Here, and then we'll put some on the other side here for the other team. So obviously their job is to throw any type of ball that you have and try to knock down the other team's uh, uh, bowling pin. So in essence, that's the name of the game, King of the Pins or King or Queen of the Pins, whatever you would like uh, to call it. Um, Put one more in here and make it even. So we got six here, so you can do whatever you want. Okay, so obviously you can throw as many um, gator skin balls out as you would like um, for the game to be played. So if we put in a couple bowling pin, um, some gator skin balls here. Okay, make some duplicates of this. Okay, they're all over the place, scatter them all over the place. Okay, and then on the signal, okay, and on the signal. All right, on the signal, the student would run, grab this ball, okay, grab this ball, and then once they have the ball, their job is to try and throw it and knock down one of these team's pins. Now, obviously, if the pin uh, gets knocked down, it stays down. Um, this is where, with older kids, uh, fourth and fifth graders, I let them try if they can catch the ball. Um, let's say that um, this player here caught a ball being thrown, um, and that person, only this person can, can go back and then set this uh, pin back up. Now that's where it gets a little tricky is if um, other teammates see that they caught it, they will want to go set up. but. I try to make it a big rule that no, only the student who caught the ball can set it up to um, stray away from confusion and things like that. And the game is over when one team knocks all their pins down and or the time limit is up. And it's a great overhand throwing game. You could even incorporate rolling if you want where they have to roll the ball and knock the pins down. I find that a little difficult because the kids will they want to try and kick it and things like that. But that's uh, more information on this game will be on my blog.